This is Professor Russell Wilson. I have a question here. What are the invariant points? Um, the invariant points here uh, for a function and its inverse function, uh, like if f of x is x, the inverse is like 1 over x. So in this case, the question we're given is f of x is x squared minus 9. So that makes the inverse function, the 1 over f of x, 1 over x squared minus 9. Uh, setting the equations equal to each other to find the points they have in common, that's how you find the so-called invariant points. Doing the math here, multiplying x squared minus 9 for both sides, I get x squared minus 9 times x squared minus 9 equals 1, which happens to be x to the fourth minus 18x squared plus 81 equals 1. Setting it equal to, equal to 0, I have x to the fourth minus 18x squared plus 80 equals 0. Factoring the trinomial gives me x squared minus 8 times x squared minus 10 equals 0. That means x equals plus minus 2 radical 2, which is radical 8, by the way, and x equals plus minus radical 10. So 2 radical 2 plus minus are my x numbers, and uh, for this point here, we'll show you this in a second, and plus minus the radical 10 are the x numbers for that point. Now, since we have the x numbers, you can come to get the y numbers by plugging the x numbers into the original function, the original function being either the x squared minus 9 or the 1 over x squared minus 9. I'll choose the x squared minus 9. It's a lot easier to work with. So plug the 2 radical 2 into the x squared minus 9. gives me 2 radical 2 squared minus 9, which is 8 minus 9 is negative 1. So one of my point plus uh, so one of my points is 2 radical 2, negative 1, and negative 2 radical 2, negative 1. And the other point, uh, radical 10 squared minus 9, 10 minus 9 is 1. So I get a radical 10, positive 1, and a negative radical 10, positive 1. It just so happens that one of the definitions of the invariant points is that the f of x either equals 1 or negative 1. Sure enough, Here's a 1, and there's a negative 1 for the so-called invariant points. Those are the answers. Those are the four invariant points. And I took the liberty to draw them on a graph. Here's your negative 10, uh, negative radical 10, 1 here. There's your positive radical 10, 1 there. That is the graph of x squared minus 9. This is the graph with the vertical asymptotes at 3 and negative 3 at the risk of putting way too much on this. Um, and then the 1 over x squared minus 9 intersects at negative 10, negative radical 10, 1, uh, and radical 10, 1, and also it intersects at uh, 2 radical 2, negative 1, and negative 2 radical 2, negative 1. No. Yes. Negative 2 radical 2, negative 1, and positive 2, radical 2, negative 1. So long story short, the answers are 2, radical 2, negative 1, negative 2, radical 2, negative 1, radical 10, positive 1, and negative radical 10, positive 1.